Hey guys, thanks for tuning in FYG, I'm Hafiz and today I'll be doing on a let's play through video or let's play video for Emergency Room 2. I'll be commentating on this game and hopefully you like it. Now I chose Emergency Room 2 because it's one of the easiest. Anyway, here are my games collection. If you want me to do any more let's play video, do let me know because I may have the time to do it now. So let's get started on Emergency Room 2. Now Okay, so here we gonna launch the game and let's get started Okay Let's watch the intro for a while I guys since this game is a classic Reminds me of Sim Copter a lot. I mean, that's how they portray Sim Copter, this kind of graphics. But when you are playing the game, it looks different. Really, entirely different. All right, so we are landing where? Outside the hospital. Okay. So it's just a small hospital, maybe like a four or five level. Emergency. The door opened by itself. Right. Emergency room two. And who's this lady? You must be the new doctor. Oh, reception. Welcome to Legacy Memorial. Thank you. Sign in on my computer, and I'll let the attending physician know you're here. Okay. Okay. So I created my profile a while ago, so I'm just gonna use it. But I haven't solved any case with this yet. So let's begin by Ilman. We're gonna go for the first case, which is hands itch. Hands My itch. hands are itching real bad. This sucks. Itchy, Dr. itchy Boss, hands. ER stat. Dr. Boss. No, no, no. Allergy is taking aspirin. Immunization up to date never has been hospitalized. So I'm gonna select this patient with a hands itch. Itchy bun. Itchy bun. Immunization up to date takes Orderly. aspirin. Um, that's basically number two. Good work. Okay, so I'm gonna approach to the CME to check out on few of the examinations that I'm gonna do. Skin itches. Uh, I don't know how. So I'm just gonna find out the scratching and rubbing hands, erythematous, hernias without excoriation, which is abrasion, lungs clear without wheezing. So, stethoscope on the lungs, and basically, I'm gonna check the hands for diagnostic diagnosis. Okay, my my medical pronunciation sucks. All right, let's go to the exam room. Uh, classic music. Now, I used to play this game a lot when I was a kid. Um, so let's see if I still can do it right now. So we're gonna check on the hands with a magnifying glass. We're not gonna touch the hands. We don't have to do look? that. Is it bad? So without abrasion. All right. So there's no abrasion. There's just rashes. That's it. That's the spot. So both hands. Um. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna use the stethoscope to check on the breathing, which is basically on the chest, on the lungs. If it's a heart, you have to check. If it's on a heart, you have to check it on the heart. Okay, so I think that's about it now. I'm gonna answer the objective. We already got the subjective in the first place after we select the patient. So let's go to the objective. Objective is uh, Ryan's hands and uh, no abrasions, no lacerations, so it's just mild swelling. Okay, and basically lungs clear without wheezing, moderate lungs air movement. It's the first one. Alright, got it. Um, assessment. Medication allergy, food allergy, abrasion, contact dermatitis. That's the one. Okay, so let's head over to the examining. I'm sorry, the treatment room. We're gonna treat this patient. Excellent exam. Dr. DeBoss is gonna like you big time. I know I do. Maybe you can give me some tips later. You know, I don't know what makes me feel that these games are using some sort Anything of a porn star. I got. 
Now, this place is organized just the way I like it, so put everything back right where you found it. As if I'm gonna use all of that, whatever you put it. I'm just, it's not gonna be automatically put in the drawer. Oh, crap. Um, can I? Uh, yeah, I need to check on this CME. Hey, you again. Ah, skip you. Alright, hands itch, skin itch, whatever. Cleanse area, injection, recheck patient, and discharge. So, discharge, that's about it. Alright, so cleanse the area. Right hand cleanse. You must see this kind of stuff all the time. Cleanse. That's it, that's exactly it. Okay, then I'm gonna do like a medical syringe on the upper arm. Cow! Okay, that's the anti-itching medication. Alright, and now I think that's about it. We have to recheck the patient. We have to go to the plan. Basically, it's cleanse, um, cleanse areas, anti-itching shot recheck. Number three. Go down and we're gonna discharge and discharge okay hundred percent that's great so we're gonna discharge the patient now between you and me not all the doctors around here are fit to practice medicine I can do better myself but you I respect <laughs> thank you thank you thank you well now quite competent medical care doctor if your skills continue to improve I'll promote you would you like me to review your performance in total Mm, okay, for the sake of this uh, playthrough, I'm just going to review it once. Then after that, on my second case, so I'm, I'm not going to review it. Obtained in the waiting room, doctor. Okay. Superlative work, doctor. You have correctly answered both of the subjective parts of your SOAP. Here are your exam room notes, doctor. I placed a check next to each procedure that was necessary. Perfectum! You have flawlessly performed all the necessary procedures in the exam room. Bravo! You answered both of the objective parts of your SOAP correctly. Doctor, I agree with your diagnosis. Judging by your treatment room notes, doctor, your performance included only the necessary procedures. Doctor, all the necessary procedures in the treatment room were performed on this patient. Excellent, doctor. The plan you have selected is utterly suitable. Okay. So that's the first patient solved. Let's move on to the Dr. second Ponson, patient. To the delivery room. Dr. Ponson, I mean, that's patient number zero. First one is wheezing. Number zero is hands each. I'm gonna take wheezing. Okay, who's wheezing? You? You? I'm worried about my son, doctor. He's been wheezing all night. Dr. Jones. Oh, I'm sorry please about call that. ICU. Maybe he has an asthma or Dr. something Jones, like that. Please call ICU. Well, I'm Dr. White. Dr. White, call your office. Dr. White. This call reception your is noisy. Dr. Valentino to the uh, OR, wheezing, please. Wheezing, priority none. Dr. Valentino to the OR, please. Select patient. Okay, wheezing. No, 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 just no medication. No, 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 he's taking Dr. Forrest, yep. dial 118, one. please. Wheezing, wheezing. There's two wheezing. Which one is wheezing? Um, respiratory compromise or difficulty of breathing any time. Wheezing, shortness of breath, breathness. Second one is, um, I believe it's the same, so I just need to check the HR, BP, RR, uh, increased rib spacing. I'm gonna check on the chest, expiratory wheezing. Okay, that's an EKG. Got it. Oh, diagnostic. Uh, we're gonna run some uh, blood samples and some shit like that. Okay, so let's head on to the exam room to exam this kit. Second patient. I mean the first one because it's zero zero one. All right, let's head on. Um, first, I'm gonna check on the um, the the basically the heart rate and also the um, lungs, breath, whatever. Expiratory wheezing without wrong kind. It really sounds like snoring, you know. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm not gonna tease this kid, poor guy. Heart rate above normal oh you having a fever that's why <laughs> okay um, then I'm gonna check the on on the BP blood pressure blood pressure above normal high blood that's about it and uh, no I mean yeah he's having a high blood that's why 
Respirometer. Respirometer. Respiration rate above normal. Okay. Um, I need to check on the rib spacing, which is on the chest here. Increase rib spacing. Okay. Yep. And lastly, I need to run an EKG. Sinus tachycardia, rapid heart rate. He's falling in love, that's why. Okay, so now we're gonna answer the objective. Uh, objective is the increased respiration, increased rate blood pressure, decrease. No, nope. normal increase, rate decrease. No, nope. it's all increased. I tell you, this guy is falling in love, that's why. He's falling in love. Okay, um, then we have the normal rib spacing. Normal rib. No, it's not. Uh, it's increased rib spacing, so it's third and fourth. Have soda. Nope, you cannot. Expiratory without wrong high. That's the one. Okay. Alright. Assessment. He's having an asthma for sure. Alright, let's go on to treating the patient. Um. No, I don't think I need to run any blood samples. I think not. I'm not sure. Should I? Treatment. No, I'll just go for treating him. Excellent exam. Dr. DeBoss is going to like you big time. I know I do. Maybe you can give me some tips later. Because he's just having breathing problems, I don't know. Intake Unless he's... Spelling is appalling. It's a uh, Unless he's anthrax or something, then maybe, yeah. Okay, um, wheezing. Yes, because there was two wheezing just now, so unfortunately for, fortunately for this guy, I may not to um, do any blood tests. So, okay, constant recheck, patient discharge. Got it, discharge. So, uh, I'm gonna go for the uh, match range. I'm gonna give you a shot. Arrow man. Here, take this. It's for your own benefit to it's like a VIX, you know? It's like a some sort of peppermint shit. And then I um, think that's about it. Basically I just give him an injection, I uh, give him a uh, arrow medication. And I think I'm gonna discharge him now. So before we discharge, we just see your friend IV now. He's not anti asthma I result. Have soda. Um, IV patient. Oh, uh, second one. And the uh, discharge. Okay. Patient recheck. Patient under all. Yeah, take that. Constant monitoring. You have to be monitored, okay? Alright, done. 100. Yeah. Discharge. Usually, I could do better than the MD, but not in your case. I like your approach to treatment. Thank you, thank you. I can't skip you. Well, no. Same goes for you. See, I'm clicking it. Doctor. If your skills continue to improve, I'll promote you. Would you like me to review your performance in total? No. Okay, done. Patient number two is done. Dr. Or number Carson, one. Please call we are going with patient number three, which is having a burn for arm. Now, this is interesting. Alright. Um, burn. Who's having burn for arm? Found you? an adolescent male who cut himself no. in wood shop. The hospital formulary committee is now meeting. Well, his mother told him this not to guy, be running yeah. around the kitchen while she was cooking. Sure enough, he bumps against a pot of boiling water and burns his arm. Why does the kid look at me like that? I don't know. I, I have no idea. So anyway, he's having a burn for um. So I'm gonna select him. Burn for um. This one. Basically, he. Took, he's not taking any medication, and his immunization is up to date. Okay, burn for um. Burn arm. All right, so this thing is very helpful over here because you, you, if you're not sure what to do, you know, or after you know what to do, you just want to ensure that it's all okay. I'm gonna look at the arm. Um, I'm gonna touch it, 
and I think so there's not much actually um, in terms of treat treating him or examining him we are actually just gonna look at it and touch it that's about it all right so now we're gonna look at it and touch it in the exam room touch 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 okay um, basically it's on the left forearm she's here 1 cm by 10 red linear burn uh, it looks fake I'm gonna touch it forearm no ulna radius bone tenderness arm with full range of motion interesting okay so now we're gonna answer the uh, objective objective uh, basically red splitter splatter blend the red linear red linear burn forearm large no it's small it's number three it's like a multiple questions or some you know the Q&A or like the MCQ multiple choice questions uh, I want to be a doctor when I grow up only better than you yeah you try okay an assessment is thermal burn second degree it's chemical no it's thermal burn okay so now we are going to treat him excellent exam dr deboss is gonna like you big time i know i do uh -huh. maybe you can give me some tips later maybe i'll give you my phone number and then you just sms me instead of talking Did to me in the hospital got... shut up all right so now we're gonna look for the burn arm whoops Plans wound the bride bloom 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 protective dressing discharge discharge <clears throat> okay we're gonna cleanse right forearm it left forearm sorry left forearm and we're gonna take some forceps to do whatever this thing does I know it hurts I'm so sorry about that but you just shut up and let me do my job okay topical mat I put some cream on you so don't worry and lastly I'm gonna bandage you up okay to keep it from being infectious got it done and now we are gonna go for what we are calling it a plan what we did just now uh, basically can I go to the bathroom no, cleanse and seal and clean their bright burn healing cream Bandage this one bandage. I don't suture. No, I didn't stitch his hands Fever control so it's this one and the second question is gonna be discharge. Oh, no The second question is call in arthropody disease. Oh Yeah Sorry about that Okay And over here. I thought it's discharge, but it's not it's uh this one I think so. I don't know about this. So anyway, discharge. Well now, quite competent medical care, doctor. If your skills continue to improve, I'll promote you. Would you like me to review your performance in total? Man, Here's the patient. Do I get it makes wrong? Here, I perfect. Bravo, doctor. I agree. Here, your treat. Your treatment of this patient was incomplete. Ah. I didn't discharge. I thought I clicked on discharge. Excellent, doctor. The plan you have selected is utterly suitable. What? Okay, whatever. Patient number two completed. Now Audiology patient number zero zero three. Hurt ankle playing soccer. Fine, we you were one. Soccer, and all these other girls fell on top of me, and now my ankle really hurts. Oh, poor girl. Hurt ankle playing soccer. Um, allergic to cats. Allergy medication. Immunization up to date. Had tonsillectomy six months ago. Tonsillectomy. You know, it's hard. It's hard to pronounce these words. You know. Okay. So anyway, he hurt herself playing soccer. Doctor Jones, please call ICU. She's allergic to cats. Taking him allergy medication. All right. You know, I hate the reception because it's so noisy. Ugh. Hurt neck. Hurt ankle. Yep. Her ankles hurt. 
Tisted Bang, Bruno Smash, Spring Jam, Loss of Function, if Loss of Vascular. Finding Patient is Cooperative and Lateral and the Ankle Area Swollen, Achimotic, Bruise and Tender, No Rotation of Foot, Painful but Able to Move Ankle. So there's no abrasion or punctured wound when she's still able to move her ankle, it's just basically just bruised. So let's go on to the exam room. Um, for this one, I'll be taking on x ray just to check if there's any deformities in the bone. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at the uh, left ankle, left foot. Well, did I click on the wrong one? Nope. Is that? Oh, yeah, that's a left ankle. Crap. Ankle is swollen and bruised, no abrasion or puncture wound, no rotation of foot. Okay, so basically, it doesn't really look twisted. Left ankle, ankle is tender, painful, but able to move ankle. So that's about it. I just need to check on her ankle because she she's not having a fever, of course. Whoops. Um, objective. So now we're gonna go. Ankle is swollen, bruised with no abrasion. Ankle is swollen with abrasion. Ankle is swollen, achimotic with laceration. Ankle is normal. <laughs> How can it be? Um, basically, it's second. And ankle is tender, not able to move. Um, ankle is not tender, able to move. Ankle. Mm, ankle is tender, able to move. Ankle. Not able to move. Able to move is not tender. Though is tender, and is able to move. So is this one. All right. Assessment. Um, simple spiral fracture, non dislocation without fracture, compound avulsion. Up. Right, okay, I'm gonna get you an x-ray, so you better watch out. There's gonna be radiation. Are you pregnant? No, you're not pregnant. Okay. Excellent exam. You are pregnant. Dr. DeBoss is gonna like you big time. I know I, I know do. I do. Maybe you can give me some tips later. Ah, go and Google. Welcome to the imaging room. Thank you. You never know what can develop in here. Get it? Develop? X-rays? <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing inside you. I specialize in rays. Whatever you need, we got. X-rays, ultrasound, CT scans. Just tell us what bone. Don't order any tests you don't need. We don't want any two-headed progeny from all that excess radiation. Let's talk bones. Sometimes an X-ray is hard to read. There's a radiologist on duty if you have any questions. I'll be back in a few. B-rated porn stars. Okay, we're gonna have an X-ray in your left ankle. Lateral malleolus fracture, non-anonymical. There's this crack here. See this thing? So I'm gonna show on a normal. Normal, is supposed not. So there is like some sort of a problem there, I think. So now we're gonna treat. <laughs> we're not gonna discharge. We're this gonna patient's treat bones are in good hands with you as the doctor. I mm -hmm. like your style. Yeah. But I don't like yours. Can you please shut up? You also Anything keep on putting stuffs here. Why every time he have to put stuff there? Okay. Uh, hurt ankle. We're gonna treat him. Immobilize, elevate area, eyes, pastoral, explain crutches, discharge. Splints. Um, basically, we're gonna put some uh, compression. To immobilize that area for the um, hospital orders or some stuff like that. Okay, you have to go on the crutches. Hmm. Hospital always have ways to make money, don't they? First, we're gonna do a compression on the left ankle. Oh, done. Oh, that's fast. Splint. If you can remember correctly. Pastor, leg splint applied. Hmm. You know how I wish they go into more detail about these stuffs. And yes, I think that's it. So that's all I can do for you. I'm sorry. Elevate eyes, continue necrovascular. Where? Um, immobilize, elevate eyes. I don't know. Ivy. I want to be a doctor when scratches, I grow up. Splint. Only better than you. Why everybody keep the saying the same thing when I try to cure you? and discharge well, yeah why everybody have to say the same thing 
I mean, I did my best, okay? It, it's not easy. Immobilize. Crutches dispense. Uh, yep. Extreme elevate. You don't need sling. And this one is discharge. You see, I cure you 100% and you, can't, you tell me that I'm no good, you're gonna be better than me? I mean, screw you. Usually, I could be better than the MD, but not in your case. I like your approach to treatment. Well now, quite competent medical care, doctor. If your skills continue to improve, I'll promote you. Would you like me to review your performance in total? No. I do not. Okay, so that's number three. Now we're heading to number four. This is actually my fifth case here. Hurt risk while rough housing. The objective of this game, as stated in the manual, you are supposed Visiting to kill 100 patients. Over. Will all visitors please leave patients' rooms at this time? Then only you complete the game. Okay? Dr. Valentino to the so OR, this one please. is uh, Dr. Kurt Reese. Valentino to the The kids were roughhousing under this the guy again. I didn't think about it at the time, but I should have known something would happen. You have a lot of sickness, you know that? Actually, you have a visitor in this the different... Lobby. It's different people, the names are different, but they look alike. Hurt risk while rough housing, no known allergies, medications none up to date, immunization, never been hospitalized. Thank God, this is your first time. Hurt risk while rousing, um, <laughs> rough housing. Rousing, what the hell is that rousing? No known allergies, no medications. Allergic to. Nope, he's not taking any. Okay. Riz. Always check the function and then uh, patient cooperative. Okay, the lateral aspect of all the area swollen, tendon no puncture, version painful but able to move. Raise all right. It, it, this is pretty straightforward actually, but I think uh, we need to go and x ray as well. So, this is pretty straightforward. Just you know, just look magnifying glass and stuff like that. All right, as normal, uh, left wrist. Wrist is swollen and bruised, no abrasion or puncture wound. Okay, there's no abrasion or puncture wound, and it's normal. Wrist is tender, painful, but able to move. Wrist ulnar and radial pulses intact. Okay, uh, now we're gonna answer the objective. Uh, wrist is normal. No, it's not really normal. Uh, wrist is swollen with punctured wound. Wrist is swollen with abrasion. No, there's no abrasion or no puncture. So it's number four. All right. Uh, next up is bone in wrist is uh, not tender, not able to move wrist. He is able to move wrist. So it's number two. Yeah, he's able to move his wrist. First assessment is spiral fracture. No, nope. complex. No, nope. avulsion. Dislocation is avulsion. All right. So I'm gonna X-ray you, kiddo. Well, I'm sure you're not pregnant, so there's don't worry about the radi radiation. Excellent exam, Doctor. The boss is gonna like you big time. Why do you I guys always say the same thing? Maybe you can give me some tips later. Uh, I couldn't skip you guys. Hi, doctor. Ready to get some images on this patient? Don't radiate anything I wouldn't. <laughs> hey, the room's all yours. What do you think? It's funny. Okay, whenever you enter the room, you can skip. But when you exit the room or done with the patient in that specific room, you can't skip the cutscenes. I don't know why they do that way. So anyway, I'm going to x-ray it on the left wrist. Now, if you guys want to know how I run this game, on Windows 10, do let me know so that I can do a fix for you guys as well. Now I'm just doing a playthrough over here. Hopefully I have time to do for all the cases. Okay, so there's a little bit of abnormalities here as you can see this area. Uh huh. Alright, so we're done with the x-ray. We're gonna go on to the treatment. I'm gonna treat you this boy. This patient's bones are in good hands with you as the doctor. I like your style. Nah, can't skip that. Okay, um, basically wrist, wrist, hurt wrist, avulsion, um, immobilize, elevate, ice, x-ray, discharge. Ah, uh, pretty simple, immobilize, elevate, okay, okay, done. 
So first of all, we're gonna do a compression on it. Left race. Oh. And that's it. That's that's your reaction. Okay, fine. Splint. Come on. Okay. I think that's about it. This is like pretty similar case to the previous case about the ankles, the girl's ankles. So it's roughly the same thing. Oh, I already done this. Plan. Okay, immobilize, rest, eyes, uh, um, immobilize, elevate, eye splints. Elevate, splint, no. No, I didn't give him any antibiotic medicines. Um, he's I'm gonna be a doctor when I grow up, only better than you. Whatever. Concur, okay. Our uh, area elevated, area immobilized, both of them. Yep. Did I click? Okay, and discharge. Alright, done. Your patient's in the pink. Nice work. Now that's first rate work, Doctor. You're a valuable part of our staff. Remind me a little bit of myself. I'm quite pleased to promote you. Yes. Would you like me to review your performance in total? No. So finally I got promoted to intern. Great job. Okay, so I'm gonna go on five cases per Dr. video. Valentino to the OR, please. Shut up. Dr. All right. Valentino and my second upload OR, will please. be continuing from case five to Dr. number Robert, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five to nine. Orderly, okay. Please bring a gurney to 302. So case IV zero 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 to zero zero four. Solve. I'm gonna save the game. I'm just gonna save it on my C drive because. Lately, I've been getting these earaches every time Oops. I fly, and this last one was pretty bad. So I okay, thought I'd I'll... better get myself checked out. You're number six. I'm gonna go on with number five. First. Okay, Valentino guys. So thank you once again for checking on my last play Dr. videos Valentino on emergency room please. two. If I want to talk, I go to here. She, she cannot see anything. Alright, so I'll be uploading on my second video after this. So stay tuned for more Emergency Room 2 video gameplay. Since there's nobody uploading it at YouTube, i uh, just do it for the sake of you guys to check it out on the game. Fantastic. Thank you guys for tuning on my channel. I'm FYG signing off from YouTube and Facebook.